If you keep a shotgun in your home for personal protection, you've probably given some thought to how to keep that gun stored safely, but in a way that it's also readily accessible. So whether you keep it in the back of a closet or locked up somewhere, you've also had to think about what condition to keep that gun in. Are you gonna have ammo in the magazine tube? Are you gonna leave around chambered? Are you going to leave the safety on or off? There are a lot of different ways to set it up. I'm going to suggest that you keep a home defense shotgun in what is called cruiser ready condition. That name comes from the way that cops have often stored shotguns in their patrol cars. And that is with the magazine tube loaded, the chamber empty, the slide unlocked, and sometimes with the safety on, but I'm gonna suggest you leave the safety off. So that way, if I need the gun in an emergency, all I have to do is just grab it, rack around in, and it's ready to fire. There are a few reasons to store the gun this way, but as far as I'm concerned, the only reason that really matters is the safety issue. Most shotguns are not drop safe. So if there is a round in the chamber and the gun falls down in the closet or it's dropped, it can go off by itself. Even with the safety on, the safety just prevents the trigger from being pulled. It doesn't block the hammer, it doesn't block the firing pin, and so it doesn't prevent the gun from being discharged if there's a, some kind of sudden jolt. And really, you'd be surprised at how little it takes for one of these things to go off if there's a round in the chamber. If we keep it stored in cruiser ready condition, the chamber is empty, so we eliminate that possibility. And with the slide unlocked, it really just takes half a second to get the gun into action. I'm also gonna leave the magazine tube downloaded by one round. So this tube holds five rounds, but I'm only gonna leave four in there. Normally these pump action shotguns are extremely reliable, but when they do fail, one of the things that tends to fail is the magazine spring. So I don't want that spring to be under any more pressure than it has to be by leaving it fully compressed for long periods of time. Now with a shotgun this short, that means I've only got four rounds ready to go when I'm in cruiser ready condition. I've sacrificed some ammo capacity for better maneuverability with this super short barrel. But if that doesn't sound like enough to you, as long as you stick to the more popular home defense shotguns on the market, you'll probably have a tube that holds six or eight rounds, so you'll have a couple of more than I do. But no matter what my capacity is, when I've retrieved that shotgun and chambered that first round, if there's no immediate danger, if I don't need to fire right away, I can just go ahead and top off my magazine tube from the shell carrier that's on my shotgun. To get the shotgun into cruiser ready condition, first I wanna make sure I'm starting with an empty gun. I'm going to check the chamber and check the magazine tube to make sure they're both empty. Then with the action closed, I will move the safety to the off position. Next, I'll point the gun in a safe direction and press the trigger. And then I will load the magazine tube to one round less than full capacity. And now it's ready for storage. Now it's probably worth mentioning, because if I don't, someone else will, uh, the whole myth about uh, the sound of racking a shotgun making bad guys pee their pants and run away. That has happened before. I've heard of it happening before, but it's not really something we count on. It's not the primary reason that we keep the shotgun in cruiser ready condition, and we don't really want to count on fear and intimidation as a primary tactic. On the flip side of that, I also suspect some of you guys are thinking that you want your home defense gun to already have a round chambered because you don't wanna waste a whole lot of time and make noise that's going to give away your position. Uh, personally, I kinda think that's a little silly. Uh, if there's someone in my house who's not supposed to be there, I want them to know that I'm there. I wanna give them every possible opportunity to leave my house before we have some kind of confrontation. So not only am I gonna make some noise racking the shotgun, I'm also gonna issue some sort of verbal challenge, like who's there? And I'm gonna have a flashlight in my hand or mounted to the shotgun. Now if the guy still wants to stick around after that, that's why I have the shotgun. But statistically, it's far more likely that uh, whatever noise I'm responding to is actually a member of my family or a roommate or a pet or something like that. And in those cases, making a little noise rack in the shotgun is actually giving them one more opportunity to identify themselves. Now, if that approach is not tactical enough for you, if you don't like that and you just have to have a gun with a round already in the chamber, I just strongly recommend you make it a handgun or some other firearm with a drop safety. It's just a bad idea to plan on keeping a shotgun stored with a round in the chamber. Mm -hmm.